Hello everyone. Welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video we are going to solve another question of the difficult question series. That is the reactant is given that is A. A is the reactant that is given and we have to form the pro product B. This is what this is the target molecule. Okay, so what we have to do is let us first try to understand the structure of the product that is given to us that we have to synthesize. So there is this benzene ring CH2. What is the meaning of CO2? That is very important. It is a condensed formula for ester CO2. Okay, it is what it is a condensed formula for ester group CH2 CH3. So if you start thinking directly like if you look at the reactant A and then you think of some direct method to convert it into B, it is going to be very difficult. So that is why we work backward. So we take the product and now you think this is which functional group? Ester. The most common reaction for the formation of ester is esterification. And how do you form ester using esterification reaction? Which two reactants are needed? One is a carboxylic acid that reacts with some alcohol. Okay, there will be loss of water molecule that is condensation and what we will get is ester RC double bond O O R dash. Okay, so this is the esterification reaction. So we know acid gives H plus ions. So we will break from here. Acid, the acid part is this and alcohol part might be this. So we have got our acid and alcohol. So what is the acid? Benzene CH2 C double bond OOH plus ethanol is the alcohol that we have to use. Now the question is how do you synthesize this carboxylic acid? So there is one method for synthesis of carboxylic acid that involves Grignard reagent. Okay, RMGX reacts with carbon dioxide. Okay, and then acidic workup will give us what will give us this is R minus. So this will attack the electron deficient delta plus carbon of carbon dioxide. This will open up. This will become O minus and this O minus will pick up H plus ion from this acidic workup and what we will get is carboxylic acid. Okay, the next question is how do you synthesize the Grignard reagent? That is simple. We know we use alkyl halide in presence of magnesium and ether as a solvent. Dry ether is used as a solvent. Okay, it can be any ether. For example, diethyl ether. Okay, the only condition is it should be moisture free. Why? Because if we know that Grignard region, if any moisture is present, this is RMGX, this R minus can pick up proton from water. Okay, it can pick up proton from water and it will form what? It will form alkane instead of it will form alkane instead of Grignard region. So to avoid this reaction, we need moisture free conditions that is why we use dry ether okay and what we will get is rmgx so now let us see how exactly we can convert this reactant a into alkyl halide first okay we know that this carbon is what benzylic carbon so at this position i can do benzylic bromination so suppose i use br2 in presence of light okay that is free radical bromination what will happen first step is formation of the stable benzylic radical this will break homolytically homolytic cleavage means both the atoms forming the bond will get one one electron each okay we will get benzylic radical if this carbon is called benzylic carbon that is why radical is present at the benzylic carbon that is why the name of this radical is benzylic radical now this will react with Br radical. Br2 will also undergo homolytic cleavage. Okay, Br2 will also undergo homolytic cleavage like this to form Br radical. So both this will combine and we will get benzyl bromide. What we will get is benzyl bromide. CH2 Br. Next, now we have got the alkyl halide. Where is alkyl halide? Here. Now we can react it with Mg in presence of dry ether to get 
to form the Grignard reagent. CH2MgBr. Okay, so we have got the Grignard reagent right here. Now we can react it with what? Carbon dioxide and then acidic workup to form carboxylic acid. Okay, this Grignard reagent CH2 MgBr this can react with carbon dioxide this is negative okay, that is this bond is this electrons will attack here this will open up and then after acidic workup what we will get is we will get our carboxylic acid CH2 C double bond O O H. Now it is very simple. We have got the carboxylic acid. We had determined we have this is the carboxylic acid that we required, right? So we have got this. Now we will react it with ethanol in presence of acid or base. We know esterification takes place in presence of either acid or okay, H plus in acidic medium. Esterification takes place, and what we will get is our final target molecule. CH2, C double bond O, O, CH2, CH3. Okay, this is the product B that we had, uh, that was desired, target molecule. I hope you have understood all the steps. What, what, where we started, we first did the free radical bromination to form alkyl halide. Then we did reaction with magnesium to form the Grignard reagent. Second step was what? Formation of RMGX. That is Grignard reagent. Then this Grignard reagent, third step was reaction of Grignard reagent with CO2. Reaction of Grignard reagent with carbon dioxide. And last step was esterification. That is formation of ester. So we got the target molecule. I hope you have understood all the steps and you have liked the question. Thank you.